Not all 80s cars are created equal. And what do you think when you hear the name Toyota Celica? Probably not this. This is a 1983 Toyota Celica with a 1JZ upgraded Tomei single turbo. And it is laughably fast for its appearance. With its brown interior, original brown paint, this is maybe the most unsuspecting fast car I've ever driven on my channel. So even though the Celica might have lost its way in the early 2000s, maybe looking back at the past will revive its legacy. So what's it like driving a Celica sleeper? Let's go for a drive and find out. Before we get started with today's video, I wanna to thank today's sponsor, The Jacket Maker. If you guys are looking for a really comfortable, great looking jacket, The Jacket Maker is definitely the place for you. They also have a made to measure feature that allows you to get your jacket crafted to your own personal measurements. And it's only $30 added to the initial price of the jacket. And to take a step further, they also have a custom bespoke feature that many people enjoy and are bound to find many great reviews to prove this point. You have a plethora of customer choices Choice. A choice of material, hardware, color, design, and detail, as well as personalized artwork, printing, and embossing. The options are absolutely endless with the jacket maker, especially with the bespoke feature that gives you freedom of expression. I think what sets the brand apart is its attention to detail, meaning that every single leather jacket is handmade, impeccable craftsmanship, quality materials, and durable hardware. And being a direct-to-customer brand, you will enjoy many other qualities that include free shipping worldwide. And they have so many sizing options, everything from extra small all the way to 4XL. This is my Ionic jacket and I absolutely love it. It has kind of like a classic but minimalist and modern vibe to it. And it's made with a buttery soft lambskin aniline leather with a matte finish. And it feels a lot more easy on the eyes than the really shiny black leather. And with me being into motorsports and everything else, it gives this cafe racer kind of collar on the top of it, which looks amazing. So make sure to click the link in the description and use the code TDIB10 for 10% off your total order and get yourself or a loved one one great jacket from The Jacket Maker. And thank you to Jacket Maker for sponsoring this video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a Toyota Celica from 1983. This is when the Celica was really cool. At one point, the Celica was a super cool Toyota sporty car. So you had the more retro Mustang-like Celica that I drove that had a 1UZ V8 in it from a Lexus with a Terminator Cobra supercharger. So that was the first generation Celica. And that was when Toyota was still doing this weird muscle car type thing. Then they moved on to this, and this is the 1983 model, which was a little bit closer to say the Celica Supra. Now the Celica and the Supra at one point were the same car, which is really hard to fathom if you don't know car history. And then eventually, they split as two separate cars. Now, the last time I drove a Celica Supra was in Hawaii, just like the first generation Celica, also in Hawaii, and I had a ton of fun in it. It was a goofy beater car that we slid around for fun and had a musical horn. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is different. This is the first time I've driven just the Celica from 1983. And this one has a 1JZ in it with a Tomei single turbo. I do have to watch out for my left foot though because this fuel pump switch is down there. I could accidentally kick it at any moment and then this video would end very, very quickly. Also, the headlights do these really unique flip ups, but not in the same flip up you think of. They do a flip up almost diagonally that seems almost useless. <laughs> so weird. When it did it, I verbally said, oh, okay. <laughs> That's a juicy, juicy diff noise. <laughs> it's a sleeper, I'll give it a pass. <laughs> so serene. And the 1JZ needs no introduction. Great engine, 2.5 liter, inline six, single turbo and it sounds amazing. It's one of my favorite sounding engines there is. Even though it only makes like 200 something horsepower originally to the wheels, it sounds like it has a thousand all the time. But let's talk about this one in particular. This is 
the most 80s Toyota I feel like I've ever driven. All the materials inside are brown, everything's boxy. W58 transmission, Celica Super rear end, and this car also utilizes parts from the E86 as well. This era, those parts, you could kind of mix and match them with these cars because the chassis were really similar. The Celica over the years got quote unquote less and less cool to most of the car industry because they went to front wheel drive. Other than like the GT4, I love the Celica GT4. It's one of the coolest cars to come out of Toyota. And the notorious insect looking Celica that you find on Need for Speed Underground. This is when the Celica knew how to have fun in my opinion. Rear wheel drive and you could swap in a lot of different stuff. The fact is is that the interior matches the color of the exterior <laughs> just brown we're also on megan racing suspensions so we have a nice low stance to it which gives the 80 celica a really cool look seeing this thing so low it just has a different aura about it but the speedo is 10 mile an hour off so got to be aware of that Dusted by a Celica, bro. A Celica, bro. A Celica, bro. You got dusted. <laughs> it's so quiet. I was expecting a little more drama on the inside, but on the outside, it sounds really, really good. It's so quiet, but this thing rolls out. The car starts getting kind of yanked by the divots in the road and you just have to be aware. Car rolls out, dude. It's a, this is a sleeper. This is 100% a sleeper. When you get into the power band, it is just buttery smooth. With the W58, that's why he never turned up the power in this because he was scared the W58 was gonna let go because the 58 is a pretty weak transmission. It's no V160, it's no Tremec T56. The fact that this is still holding up with this kind of abuse is actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. I love driving cars like this that are just super unexpected. I think a lot of people think they have to do a built motor, they have to do a gargantuan single turbo in order to have fun in an old car like this. But his setup is relatively simple. It's a factory 1J, big turbo, W58, and it works. It just, it's just frustrating because the Celica could have really been another like 240 or something like that had they stayed the course. Had they stayed the course of the Celica as a rear wheel drive fun platform, it really could have been something unique and different to compete against it. The Celica, I kind of compare to something like the Honda Prelude, which I know is a weird comparison, because I always thought the fifth gen Prelude, if that was rear wheel drive, that would have been a great 240 competitor. I've ever driven. Toyota, you should bring back the Celica. You're on a renaissance right now with the GR86 and the Supra. Bring back the Celica and make it rear wheel drive. In fact, I say a lot of the times that maybe the new Supra maybe should have been called the Celica, but who am I to say? But it runs incredibly smooth. It's on a factory ECU, but the shifts of the W58 are pretty long, so you do have to take a beat in between shifts. come back I would love to see the Celica come back I don't know in which way they would do it but with the Integra coming back the GR coming back all these great Japanese cars coming back please Toyota either make the MR2 or make this that's what I'm looking for goodbye Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. I just wanna give a huge shout out to my brand new merchandise store, tdivmerch.com. And for everybody who orders a brand new piece from the new collection this holiday season, I'll send a personalized video thank you greeting card to everybody who shows their support. I hope you all have a great holiday and Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for stopping by.